Let's look at what happens when we change supply and demand. And you can look at both graphs at the same time. So let's graph the market for cupcakes if jelly rolls, a substitute, become more expensive. So the first thing, you should have a supply and a demand graph, and your equilibrium should be noted. And think about what's going to happen if a substitute good becomes more expensive. So this is not going to affect how many cupcakes you're willing to make, but it is going to affect how many cupcakes you're willing to buy. So if, if jelly rolls are more expensive, and this is the market for cupcakes, then I'm going to buy more cupcakes. So my demand for cupcakes will increase and that will lead to a shift of the demand curve to the right. So if I'm selling cupcakes and for some reason jelly rolls become more expensive, then my demand for cupcakes will increase, my demand curve will shift to the right, and my new equilibrium is going to be selling more cupcakes at a higher price. So I'm pretty happy if I'm a cupcake manufacturer and uh, people buying cupcakes are going to notice that the price has gone up because people who used to buy jelly rolls are now substituting cupcakes instead and that's driven up the desire for cupcakes and the price for cupcakes. The other thing I want you to notice is that when demand increased the supply, the quantity supplied of cupcakes increased. So if I were Little Debbie, I might start making cupcakes instead of jelly rolls because the demand for cupcakes increased, which led to an increase in the quantity supplied for cupcakes.